squad what's up guys so i'm back um i'm sorry that i've been gone for a little while i was just under the weather just catching up with all ratings and stuff but i am here to do your september monthly it's so funny i actually got a comment on uh one of my videos like a day or two ago and they're like you forgot taurus i'm like ah you must be new <laughs> i'm like this is squad i can never forget squad but all right guys let's see what is happening for the month of September and you know I was thinking because the way I do my readings is I start with whatever sign um, you know has birthdays that month so right now you know I'm starting with Virgo and moving down the zodiac in order you know ending with Leo um, a lot of people haven't liked the order so I am gonna switch things up so I feel like I'm just gonna go by views okay so after uh, these monthly readings, once I start the mid-month readings, I'm just going to go back and whichever, I'll always start with the birthday month, so I'll start with Virgo, but, um, I'll go by views, the videos that have the most views, I'll start with y'all first, because y'all are the most invested, okay? So let's see what is happening for the sign of Taurus in the month of September. All right, so let's see what's up, and I hope that everybody, uh, survived well during this retrograde. Okay, I know we all have to deal with a little bit of BS, nothing that a Taurus can't handle. Okay. All right, guys. So, the energy that we have for September is the Devil card in the reverse, okay? So, this is coming out of a toxic situation. Something that just wasn't good for you. Um, under that, we have the Queen of Cups. So this could be, you know, you guys just feeling very, very loving um, and very good about a situation. Or this could be a water sign that you may have been dealing with or that you are going to deal with that um, is going to be significant for you. So that could be a Cancer Scorpio or um, Pisces. We do have the Three of Swords behind that. So there may have been some sort of disappointment, some sort of heartbreak, something that just made you guys unhappy with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, something that you saw as a waste of time, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles there because there were secrets there. And it may have been something that you were trying to manifest, but with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, you're kind of just getting out of your head about it, okay? It just didn't come into fruition the way that you wanted it to. And there's a fallout here, but it's saying that that's a good thing and that's what's supposed to happen. Um, you know, just in the month of August, and I can keep going because it has the same energy, just as that, you know, you guys were avoiding a lot of conflicts by having this fallout or this disappointment, whether it had been with work or, uh, you know, in a love situation with friends, whatever it may be. But, you know, the month of August, we had the retrograde, which is still going to be in effect till the 5th or 6th of September. But for the most part, August was all about letting go of things that doesn't serve us anymore. Um, things that just had to be ripped out. So I'm not going to be surprised if, you know, a lot of you had to deal with a situation where things changed quickly and abruptly. And, you know, for a Taurus, I know that that's something that's very, very uncomfortable because you guys like to see things coming. You like to be able to plan things. Your heart is just not good with things that change like that. But, hey, if it was ripped out, that's a good thing. Is it better to, you know, slowly take off a Band-Aid or do you just want it ripped off? So that's something that with Taurus is that, you know, we need to work to be able to adapt to quick changes. All right. So let's get into the reading. Let me stop talking to my shit and let me turn my phone over so I don't see it lighting up. All right, guys. So the first card that you have for your past is the four of pentacles in the reverse. With the four of pentacles in the reverse, there's something or someone that you're extremely guarded against. Or this could be with your finances. You could be holding on so tight to your finances. Okay. But we do have the Ten of Pentacles upright. So there's something really good happening here. It could be um, a lot of money coming in and you guys being very guarded with how you spend that money. Or it could be something good just in general that comes into your life, but you have to be guarded against it. Hey, Swayze, chill out, man. All right? Justice card in the reverse. So there's something here that you may feel good about. But you're very guarded against it, and something about it just isn't right. Yo, Swayze, come on, kid. Hold on, guys. Let me just... Give me that. Stop it. 
Do you see these things? This is why you got to clean up after your kids. All right. So there's something here that you may have felt was a good thing, but there's this injustice that's happening with this. Let me get one more card to clarify this because there's, you know, very contradicting energies here. Five of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, I just feel like there's something, maybe money was good, okay? You're being guarded against it, but some sort of injustice happened, but it's something that you got over quickly, honestly. Because when you have the injustice card next to the Five of Cups in the reverse, the Five of Cups in the reverse is, uh, you know, somebody who's getting over something, who's finally uh, healing from a situation. So it's like these two things kind of happened at the same time. So it's like, oh, well, that sucked. Oh, well, who wants to go to Chipotle? Okay, so it wasn't anything that you guys were stressing too much. Now, the next card you guys have is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So, yeah, whatever that was, it was released in the quickness. Like I said, abrupt changes. Nine of Swords. But there's some there's some sort of mental anguish happening here. There's This is just being in your thoughts a lot. And, you know... When you have this Nine of Swords feel, you're going to make things ten times worse because it's like you're thinking too much. You're creating all these stories and all these things in your head that may not even be there. So it's like you release the burden of whatever this was, but then, you know, for some of you, it could be, you know, maybe a job that didn't work out or maybe a relationship that didn't work out or a friendship or some sort of fallout. And it's like, okay, I'm cool with releasing this burden, but damn, you know, when am I going to find something that's more reliable or something that's good? So it's kind of like worrying about being back at square one. Okay. And whatever happens here, whatever fallout, this was life saying, you know, this is how it's supposed to happen. Now your life is going to evolve in a better way. Okay. This is the wheel turning in your favor. So if there's anything that you felt, you know, you got the short end of, you did it. The universe is just, it's getting something ready for you. And that had to just be sweeped out of the way. All right. The last card that you guys have here is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles, you know, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, so Taurus, you know, in terms of money, it's a very, very strong money sign. Uh, we're very good with, you know, um, delegating where our money is going to go. Uh, we're very good at knowing how to make it. But with the Nine of Pentacles, you know, things are coming in, you're feeling abundant. But for some people, this could be you just being single. Uh, maybe moving out of a relationship and being single, but the cards are saying that that was a good thing. Um, but it's just an overall good feeling. Okay? Two of Wands in the reverse. So for some people, it might be that, you know, maybe you're looking for love and you feel lost at the fact that, you know, things aren't progressing as fast as you would like them to. Okay? And we have the Emperor here. So despite being lost, um... You know, the money's good. I feel that on a personal level, you guys are fine, or were fine, rather, since this is the past. And with the emperor, this is kind of just the attitude that I feel you guys took, because with the emperor, he's somebody that, he or she is somebody that has just been through a lot of things in life, and now you're in a place that you really want to make sure you're making the right decisions. You've seen things go bad for you you've seen things go right for you and you've had all this wisdom acquired because of just life and how you've lived it and you're able to just be strong and powerful even if things didn't you know fully go your way you're just comprehending that you know maybe the universe has something else in store okay now the first card that you guys have for the present moment is the death card in the reverse okay with the death card in the reverse you know this is a situation that you thought was over something or maybe a chapter in your life that needs to be closed but it's still open for some of you this is going to be a love situation here where there's messages of love coming in from something that either you thought was over or something that needs to be over okay and then you're still dealing with it temperance card in the reverse so you know, for a lot of you, I feel that there's someone from the past or maybe someone that you're still emotionally invested in that they're going to be, you know, reaching out to you. You're going to be reaching out to them. There's going to be these not so much just messages, but actions of love, too. And this is going to be something that leaves you unbalanced for whatever reason. And it might be because things are unstable. There's an unstable foundation here with whatever this is. You know, for the majority of you, I'm feeling like this is something that you did have to let go of or that, ooh, that and you're in the process of letting go of. 
Okay. Yeah. Whatever this is, you know, it's an unstable foundation. You have the Six of Wands in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is just something that might not just start. This may be something that's just not meant to happen, okay? I would say with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, may, in the reverse, maybe there's a delay on the start. But the next card here is the Six of Swords. So I just don't see whatever this is, whatever you guys feel unbalanced about, you got to listen to that because there's somebody that you're dealing with, again, it could be a water sign, but there's something that you're dealing with that's very, very charming, but it's unsettling. You know, the problem with, um, the problem we have sometimes, and not just Tauruses, but anybody, is that we're in a situation that we find something, or we think that there's something unsettling going on, and instead of trusting our gut in the situation, we're kind of just like, okay, well... I want proof. I want to see this happen. I want to know for sure that I'm making the right decision. You know, if my boss was talking shit about me, um, like, I, I want it confirmed by somebody. You know, that sort of thing. But you have to realize that life isn't always going to give you... Sorry, I'm, my OCD is kicking in. All right, that was not centered. Okay. So you have to realize that Sometimes you're not going to get that luxury of finding out that something went wrong, okay, or how it went wrong, or how it went down, or who they were talking to, or, you know, where did she buy that, because I have the same shirt, and she swore, like, she wasn't going to buy the same shirt as me, so that whole thing, it's like, sometimes we look for all these answers, and you're not going to get it, you have to be able to trust your gut, okay, there's certain people in my life that I just come across and I have, you know, we exchange three words and I'm like, wow, I dislike you a lot. And I don't know why, but I don't care to find out. I'm just going to trust myself on this one. So you guys have to have that, um, have that confidence to know that your feelings, you know, that's the universe that's guiding you, letting you know when something is good or bad. We all have it within us. So just make sure that you're able to listen to it because whatever was happening here that, you know, it was unfinished business, you knew that there was struggle here. Okay. But yeah, so Six of Swords, moving away from something that you were emotionally invested in. The Empress card in the reverse, a start that just wasn't happening. Or, you know, this could be, you know, since she does signify just Earth energy and she, you know, does represent Taurus as well. Uh, this is someone who's really in their head about things. Like, am I pretty enough? Am I smart enough? Uh, is this something that is truly feasible for me? Am I, you know putting all my eggs in one basket, like, what what's happening here? Or this could just simply be uh, you guys having a lot of options in terms of how something is going to start. So if uh, if you're starting a new business, you need event uh, investors. This is you having, you know, a lot of investors that you could talk to. If uh, you're looking for love, this could be a lot of suitors that you have, okay? But just an abundance of options. And you're moving away from something, but it's not because, you know, you're just whacking sitting at home. It's because there's something else happening for you. This is, you know, something that's being manifested into your life. So all of this that you're moving away from, that had to happen. Okay? But there's something that's being manifested. I just don't think you're sure which direct uh, way you want to go with it just yet. But the, the possibility is there. You just have to choose how you want to go about it. Okay? So it's not so much having to um, manifest it. It's kind of like just being in a car and putting on your GPS and you have four ways of getting there. Which way are you going to take? One's going to take two minutes longer. The other one's going to take two minutes shorter. Like, which one do you want to take? So that's just what I see it as. Uh, you know how to, you know what you want to go towards. You just don't know how to move towards it just yet or how you're going to move towards it. Now, the first card that you guys have for the future is the Queen of Wands. All right, so the Queen of Wands, uh, this could be a fire sign coming into your life. It's going to be very significant for you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or this could be you guys just taking control and being very, very passionate about something and just kind of being the leader in it. Okay, whatever this is, it's going to be wish fulfillment. Okay. So for those waiting on love, you know, it could be with the fire sign that's coming in or somebody with fire in their charts. 
Ooh, check this out. All right. There's going to be love coming in for those of you who are single. Some, someone who's going to be very passionate, something that you feel, um, you know, is really good, something that you may have been waiting for. Okay, so that's really awesome. There's a lot of love and there's a lot of passion here. And I do believe that it's another person coming in for you because here we are, you know, coming out as a queen of pentacles. And, you know, this is for guys and girls. The, the energy is transferable. But whatever this is, it's like this stuff didn't work out in the past. Like I told you guys, the retrograde, that's what it's meant to do. Cut the bullshit out. Um, you know, but this new thing that comes in, whether it be a new business venture that goes through, because the lovers, of course, it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to pertain to love. But with the lovers card, this could be a contract coming through. This could be you getting that job you wanted. This is just something that you, that's really, uh, that you're emotionally invested in that's going to, you know, uh, transpire for you. But whatever this is, it just makes you feel so stable and it makes you really feel like yourself, that powerful, beautiful um, you know, Torian. And it's like you're going to be sure that this is what you want. With the two of swords there. Because it's like you've kind of had to make a choice between two things. And I feel that you guys were like, you know, between a... Um, what's it called? Between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. You're going to choose to be happy. How beautiful is that? That's beautiful. Yeah. So the last card we have here is the Page of Wands in the reverse. Now, the Page of Wands in the reverse, it's uh, it's messages of passion, things that we're passionate about in the reverse. Um, you know, it could either be a delay to things or, you know, somebody who says things and it's like they don't fully go through with what they're saying. Or it could be, you know, kind of a delay to something that you're trying to start. Page of Cups in the reverse. All right, so let's see how this is going to transpire. Let me get one more card here. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay. So things might take an unexpected turn for some of you because um, just want to get the energy and the feel for this. Okay, so there's something that may be very emotionally gratifying that comes in for you. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is in reference to the same thing here because you have something starting and you feel really, really good and stable with it, but then something happens here that puts kind of like a stop to something that you're trying to start. Page of Wands, you know, someone sending messages of love or not messages of love, but things that you're passionate about and it's like it's on delay. And with the Page of Cups in the reverse, this is also someone who makes promises that they can't really keep. Okay. So it's like there's something that's starting and there's something here that is ending. I just need to see if it's the same thing. So I'm going to pull one more card for each section because I'm a Taurus and I'm not ending this reading without knowing what's going to happen. Okay. So, you know, with this love situation, we did get the eight of wands there. So whatever's happening in a push fulfillment, there might be an abrupt stop, something that makes you feel frustrated. So what is this happiness that's coming in? It's something that we're slowly going to be moving towards. But let me just see, because the Knight of Pentacles came out, so that's us. The Sun card. Okay. And we have the High Priestess. So whatever is going to be ended is going to be a good thing. Yeah, um, for some of you, you may just have been dealing with more than one person. I feel that there's something you're moving away from, but it's in order to start something else because it does show someone from the past coming back in. Okay, see, I just needed to really clarify that. So um, there's going to be something new that starts that's very, very passionate, but in order for this to start or in order for this thing to come through, whether it be with a job or whatever, um, someone's going to have to get cut out. Okay? Okay. And this person, you know, you may have more than one suitor coming after you or more than one offer coming after you. But now I see this as you guys just not allowing it to happen. 
not feeding into it, not giving the communication, not starting things elsewhere. Because you're slowly moving into something that's going to make you very happy and stable. Okay? And with the sun card, this is going to be something that's really good, something that we're using our intuition for. Yeah, there's a new start here. You know? And I just feel that you guys are cutting out something from the past that just may not have worked out for you. Okay? So that's really good. All right. Just because that ended a little bit, like, questionably, I'm going to pull three cards of advice because I like to see, you know, a clear ending, so I want it to be a little bit more clear than what that was. So let's see what's going on. Give me three cards of advice for the sign of Taurus for the month of September in accordance to the spread. Three cards of advice. All right, I'm just going to let these cards fall. Three cards of advice for the sign of Taurus in the month of September. I mean December. Wow, September. In the month of September. I'm so ahead of myself. Okay. One of these cards I'm going to clarify. So it shows a lot of happiness coming in. But there's going to be someone here who's unstable and maybe a little bit promiscuous, okay? But there's going to be a new start that's emotionally gratifying um, and very emotionally fulfilling. Why is this King of Cups here in the reverse? Who is this person? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. So this is just showing that there's happiness coming. And just what I said before, guys, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I was right. <laughs> but this person, there's going to be a loss with this person. You're going to cut them out. So there's somebody in your life that was unreliable, whether it be with business, love, whatever. They're getting cut out because there's something new and something that's going to be very, very fulfilling that comes in. Yep. You turn your back on this person. All right? Because you have new things coming in. Beautiful, Taurus. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So lastly, I'm going to pull you guys Earth Magic Oracle card. I'm sorry I'm like all over the place today, guys. But let's see here. Okay. What is the guidance that Taurus needs to hear for the month of September? What is the guidance card that Taurus needs to hear for? Oh. Okay. We have Dragonfly Emergence. Okay. So let's see how this is going to play out. Okay. In the stages of the life cycle of a dragonfly, once the egg is laid upon a floating plant or dropped into the water, it gestates, hatches, and may remain for up to four years in this larval form called a nymph. This is a precursor to the dragonfly. Dragonfly skip the cocoon stage, moving from egg directly to nymph. At some point, the nymph climbs onto a rock or leaf and there emerges from its former body and takes on the shape and character of the adult dragonfly. This radiant being then proceeds to illuminate our eyes and hearts as we witness its dramatic colors and magical dance along the surface of the water. In this card, we see a nature goddess, like the dragonfly emerging from the water. Her hair braided with vines dotted with flowers. She is surrounded by dragonflies and is one of the is, and is one with the vibrant plant life thriving in the pond. The goddess emerges from her gestation in the water, transformed with a renewed sense of power and purpose. You are in an intense process of emergence into the next cycle of your life. Unlike more gradual shifts in awareness you have experienced, this one is happening quite rapidly and came on somewhat unexpectedly, without any pauses for contemplation or indecision. You may even think that you are unprepared for such dramatic changes in your life. Yet you are prepared, and you can put to use the experiences and wisdom you have accumulated up to now. Life is demanding that you move into the next stage of maturity. This requires you to adjust your thinking about yourself, others, and your community. It calls for you to shed yet another layer of your ego-filled defenses and let go of any illusions of being less than who you are. This period of emergence is one of broadened consciousness and heightened perceptual capacities. 
and since it is inevitable, it is best to surrender to the flow and allow yourself to gracefully move into the next cycle of your life. So that's beautiful. Um, you know, I feel that last month, um, and you know, me, even as a Taurus, personally, there was a lot of doors that either I closed or just were closed, you know, opportunities that I just didn't see being feasible. But it's all a beautiful thing, you know, and I think that right now we have to realize that the universe is always going to have our backs, okay? If there's things that don't work out, it's for a reason. You know, I've said it in the past, I'll say it again, but things that are truly meant for you, you're not going to have to fight it. You know, you're not going to have to sit here and force that thing to happen. What's meant for you, I truly feel it's just going to fall into your lap. You know, are you going to have issues with people? Are you going to have bumps in the road? Of course. But you have to pick and choose your battles. Okay? So with this, you know, there's definitely new things that is happening. So I see it as a really, really good thing. I see new things coming in. I see new love coming in for a lot of you. Uh, for singles, I definitely see something, you know, working. But you have to be able to adjust to these changes. And like I've said it before, the universe is going to give us what it is we feel we deserve. OK, if there is something in your life or someone in your life, a job in your life, something that you do not like, yet you're still there. You can't really complain about it, you know, especially if you have the option to leave. And, you know, that'll happen because, you know, I deal with people's problems on a daily basis. And just like when friends come over and, you know, we're talking about things and I'm giving advice, you know, I I'll have to cut them off sometimes. I really you do realize this is the same thing that you've been complaining about for the past 10 weeks. Like, kind of, I'm sorry, I love you, but I don't want to hear about it. You know, if you're not going to make efforts to change, you know, I'm not going to sit here and beat a dead horse. So you have to ask yourself, like, where are you in life? Are you holding on to things that aren't going to work out for you? Or are you willing to let them go gracefully? The hardest thing about letting go is letting go. Okay, but once you let go, you're, you're opening doors for new things that are going to come in. So, you know, the only thing I can say is just be grateful for anything that's been ripped out of your life. Be grateful for the things that didn't work out because there's something that's so beautiful that's coming in. And don't question yourself. And that's something that I have to work on, too. And I didn't realize how guarded I was as a person. And, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine because, you know, I'll get a little personal with you guys, um, you know, since this is why. Um, there's a part of me that, you know, I, I feel that in terms of love, and all that I am ready to get into something but it's just I need to make sure that this is something that's going to complement my lifestyle because I am extremely independent and I'm not really looking for someone who thinks I need that they have to take care of me because that's really not ever going to be the case but you know I was talking to a friend of mine and I'm just like you know I wonder what it is you know I wonder what it is about me that deters people because I'm like you know I'm very self-sufficient um you know, I'm the type of person that whichever man, you know, um, I end up with, this is going to be someone that I'm going to nurture him, that I'm going to make sure that we're known on a world scale. Like, I want a very powerful, strong, beautiful relationship. So I'm like, you know, there's so many people looking for people, but I feel like I'm always second choice. I feel like, uh, I don't know. It's just like, I, I feel like I have like man repellent on. And I'm like, what is that? And this is a good friend, and this is someone who has been there, like, while I have been talking to, like, possible interests and stuff like that. And she was like, bitch, do you realize, like, do you realize how guarded you are as a person? She's like, I have seen at least three men that would have dropped their lives for you. But you just came up in a way that was so strong that they just didn't feel that there was a place in your life for them. Okay? And it's also, I'm the type of person, and this is just a Taurus thing that, you know, when we think things are too good to be true, it's like, mm, nope. Yeah, so Tony over here says that he wants to be with me for the rest of his life. I bet you he has, like, a wife in Africa. He has another one in, you know, Brazil. He has another one in, like, Poland. You know, so it's just like we, we think the worst of things. And when something good is happening for us, we automatically say, okay, well, what's wrong with this? And what, as tourists, what we have to realize is, and, you know, a good friend of mine, we were talking about this that we expect love or we expect good things in our life to come in in a certain way, especially with our very stubborn visions. But it's not like that. You know, you can have the idea that, oh, when I meet the person that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, we're going to lock eyes and we're going to know. 
and we're going to fall in love and it's just going to be that. But life doesn't work that way. So I think that for Tauruses, the best advice that I could give you guys for this reading is don't worry so much about how you get there. Just worry about what you want as the end result because that's going to be what fucks you up. The universe is very giving, but the universe doesn't always tell us how we're going to get things and how we're going to receive things. So if you have this fairy tale in your head of this is how things are supposed to go, I feel that that's something that you definitely have to release. Okay, things aren't always going to go our way. And you have to realize that people are different and people love differently. And the beautiful part about getting into something new is learning the love language that somebody else has for you. And never, ever, 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 ever settle for anything that isn't, you know, what you really want on a soul level. Because I say it, uh, you know, I've said it before, I say it again, but, you know, every, um, anytime we're with like a person, we're with the wrong person rather, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Anytime we're with the wrong person, every minute that we spend with that wrong person is a minute that you take away from the right person. Stay single. If that is the case, if you're like, oh, he's okay for now, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, and I was telling Aries about this, but 48 Laws of Power. Uh, They're talking about how Queen, uh, who was a Queen Elizabeth, when she was reigning, because uh, she didn't have a suitor at that time. And, you know, back in the, you know, back in those days, it was unconventional for a woman, you know, to be on the throne alone. And, you know, they wanted her to really marry and to get with somebody. But the fact that she didn't choose anyone, the fact that she didn't jump into anything, she just had so much power. Literally anyone that she wanted could have been hers. I mean, the story ends terribly, in my opinion, because, yeah, she reigned for a long time and she had a lot of power and she kept peace between, you know, all the countries around her. So, yeah, that was good. But then they say she died a virgin. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> that is not a way to live. So, uh, I mean, take her tactics and, you know, use that because you do have more power when you don't settle with certain things, but don't die a virgin because that's no fun. I mean, unless you want to be like an honor priest, then I'm not going to, whatever, guys. But yeah, so that's something that we have to think about. So take into consideration, um, you're going to look a lot more, um, what's the word? You're going to be a lot more appeasing when people feel that you are hard to get. Okay, if you want to look for love, if you want that husband or that wife, you have to act in accordance. If you're out here being a hoe, and I know my Taurus men and Taurus girls, we have our times where you're just going out and talking to mad people. There's nothing wrong with that, but you also have to keep in mind there's a guy at you know, the other side of the room that he just peeped. You talked to eight different men. So is he going to want to go further with you? Probably not, because that's something that, you know, is going to, you know, put red flags in his mind. And I'm talking a lot, but, um, <laughs> yeah, something that you guys just have to keep in mind. So act in accordance to what you want. If you truly want to find, you know, the love of your life, think, what do I want from the love of my life? And I think that that's the problem that we have. Our generation and just in general now with times, we're so scared of settling or we're so scared of getting hurt that we just distract ourselves with so many things not realizing that it could be deterring a very good person away from us, okay? It's it's all insecurity at the end. I feel like when people talk to a lot of different people, they're just scared that deep down inside nobody's ever going to truly love them. So they have to, they, they'd rather be the person hurting people than to be the vulnerable one that gets hurt. But fuck that. I want to be vulnerable, and I think that you all should too, all right? I love you guys. Let me let you go. I'll be back in a few days with Taurus Love Reading. I hope you guys are having a good um, September, September 1st here. So take care, guys. And if you do want a personal reading, I'll leave everything in the description.